Okay, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be 50 movies and TV shows you need to watch. Period. Okay, so, yeah, you already know what the video is going to be. I already told you. Um, before anybody asks, I got my shirt off Amazon. And, now, I should have done it on my phone. Just in case I had to record on my phone. Okay, so I'm going to start off with movies. Okay, so if you know me or if you asked me this question before, like, oh my god, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Poetic Justice. All day, every day. I can sit there and tell you almost every word in that movie. I love that movie. Don't ask me why. I just love that movie. The second movie you need to watch is Rent. If you are homophobic or transphobic i don't know why you're here because i don't support that but if you are i don't suggest you watching rent but it, if you are you should get off my channel also but anyway um rent is about four people is it four people no six six to four people and they're all like inner connected because they all either have friends who have AIDS or who have friends who have HIV. And there it's just like about them living through life. It's a musical. So if you don't like musicals, don't watch it. But <clears throat> it's a good movie. Waves is a movie about a black kid who, um, who is on a wrestling team and has a girlfriend. And finds out his girlfriend gets pregnant. I don't know what happened to my voice. But we're just going to go with the flow with it. Okay. Mm. Pretty much horror is a romantic movie, but uh, I wouldn't watch it if your parents don't let you watch crazy things because it has a lot of scenes in it, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, Nerve is a movie, it's like True for Dare, but like on steroids. Um, so you can dare, and you get tons of money, and but... If you don't dare, you have to pay money. And Emma Roberts is in it, which I love Emma Roberts, by the way. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to my voice. But, so yeah. It's basically like Dare Dare. And Emma Roberts is like a quiet person in the movie. And she does it just to like get back at her friend or whatever. Queen and Slim. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay, okay, my voice is normal. Alright, it's back. Queen of Slim is about these two black people go on a date and a racist cop pulls them over and they have to get, and the black guy accidentally shoots the cop because he was trying to shoot them and they go on the run. Honey, oh my god, if, I love dance movies. But I have to say, Honey is the best dance movie in the whole world, and I don't care what you say. Honey is the best. Best, I said the best. The best. It's the best, y'all. It's the best. It's the best dance movie in the world. Okay, we have Step. Step is about um this all black. It's a documentary. It's about this all black school in Baltimore, all girls school in Baltimore. And how these girls are on the step team. And it's really good. I've, they took it off Hulu. But I don't know what else is on. But I love that movie. Brian Banks is about a football player. Who is. um He 
was accused of raping this girl and he goes through all this trouble to like because he was about to go to the NFL and then the girl had said he raped her and then he had to go to jail and he was falsely accused and how he got out of jail and all that stuff it's really good Carrie um Carrie's my favorite horror movie in the whole entire world I love Carrie um I can't my favorite Carrie version is the 2002 version because it makes it makes the most sense in my opinion I've seen clips of the 2013 version but it wasn't it wasn't that good like I've I've seen better but I'm a cheerleader is also another um LGBTQ community movie <laughs> Is about this girl and she's like I can't be gay I'm a cheerleader and it's very funny Honey Trap is a sad movie and it's a true story so is the Brian Banks movie I'm sorry I didn't say that the Brian Banks movie is a true story and it's it's it's, it's sad but um if you don't like like I know some people they get annoyed by accents and Honey Trap is a British movie, so if you want to watch another sad true story movie, you should watch When They See Us, but that's a series, and it's about, <sighs> that movie is really sad, I can only watch it once. It's about um, these five young kids in New York in the 90s, and they were accused of raping this white girl who was running in um, Central Park, and they all had to serve time, and they were not they were wrongly incarcerated and they were not proven wrong until like 2013 and it's really sad especially like the last Corey Corey's movie is the reason why I can't watch it anything else I could watch that a thousand times but when they go to Corey's side and if you don't know what I'm talking about you should just watch the movie uh face off my mom introduced me to have these movies or not really but sometimes Face off, my mom introduced it to me, and I just, I think that's so cool. It's about this guy, and he's a police officer, and he has, like, this arch nemesis, and he's been trying to get this guy for years because he killed his son, okay? So, the arch nemesis, like, they were fighting, and he goes into a coma, so to get his brother to talk so that they can rightfully put the arch nemesis in jail he takes his face off of him while he's in the coma and they switch faces yeah <laughs> you just gotta watch the movie uh babysitter the babysitter is a horror movie i love horror movies and it's about a crazy babysitter i don't want to i don't want to tell that movie because if i tell you I don't feel like you're gonna want to watch like if I tell you you're gonna be like oh that's so cliche so I don't want to tell you the boy is about this girl and she like was in an abusive relationship and she goes to work for this rich white old couple and they say they have a son but it's actually a doll and yeah Rebecca um, Rebecca is about, um, she's like a maid, kind of, like, she's a server, and she meets this rich man while she's serving this old woman, and they fall in love, and later on in the movie, she finds out the rich man had an ex-wife who died, and she has to deal with being in the ex-wife's shadow. Uh, Kings is about... In um, <laughs> it's about in the um, Rodney King writes about this woman. It's a true story. It's about this woman, and she used to take in like runaways and foster kids into her house. And this the oldest kid finds finds the girl he liked at his school. And they bring in this other kid, and they're around the same age, and it's basically about them mostly. That's sad, also.
Crooklyn. Crooklyn's one of my favorite Spike Lee movies. I need to get it on my wall. But Crooklyn is about... Her name is Troy and she lives in Brooklyn, but they call it Crooklyn. And how she goes from living in, in Crooklyn for the beginning of the summer to living in North Carolina. And I really like that movie. I've, I've been watching that movie since I was a baby, kind of. Elf is my favorite Christmas movie. I love Will Ferrell. Like, he's, he's just funny to me. So, it's about this elf of course and he doesn't know that he's not like an elf elf for real he finds out that he's a human and so he goes down to new york where his real dad is at and he yeah he has a blast in new york the pursuit of happiness if you have not seen the pursuit of happiness i don't know what you're doing but it's a really good movie but it's really sad and it's really sad i don't know how <laughs> It took me three times to watch that movie fully out. Like once, it just it was really sad to me. And then, mm -mm. okay, the t it was just supposed to be twenty five each. I think I'm at like twenty seven, twenty eight. I'm sorry, but I watched a lot of movies. <laughs> the Great Gatsby. Um. I never read the book, but I have watched the movie with my sister because at the time she was reading the book. And it's about in the 20s. There's a writer. He makes friends with this rich guy named Gapsy, Gapsby. And yeah, I'm not going to tell you the movie. Gone Girl is about this husband and wife and they're a couple. And the wife goes missing, but no, I'm not going to tell you that either. I'm sorry. All right. TV shows. <laughs> and so Gone Girl, the wife goes missing and we watch what's happening to the wife, but it's not what you expect. So you should still watch it. TV shows. Okay. So I cannot promise that it's not going to go over 25. It was supposed to stay under 25, but I love movies too much. The f number one TV show you should watch is A Different World. It's about an HBCU, a historical black college in the 80s through 90s. And that's where like almost everybody got their start. Lisa Bonet was on it the first season. She got kicked off. Um, Jada Pinkett Smith was on it. I forgot. Jasmine Guy. horrible i forgot their names and that is cree summer i believe the girl who does like most black cartoon voices she was on it also glee if you're into musicals and you should watch glee i watch glee i i'm currently re-watching it that's horrible but I, that's what i'm doing and i finished it like in third grade i loved all of it black lightning I think season this season four is supposed to be the last season. I hope it's not the right season, but it's supposed to be. And it's about a black superhero in this pretend land in Georgia called Greenland. I don't know if that's a real place, but I, I don't know. I can't. I don't know why I said pretend. American Horror Story. If you're into horror movies, but you like, if you've ever watched a horror movie, it was like, dang, I really wish they was like weirder and had more detail you should watch American Horror Story because each season is like a horror movie and there's a lot of interesting stuff my favorite season is the Covet in Louisiana that's in New Orleans oh my god I'm so sorry that's my favorite season <laughs> the Bernie Mac show I was watching that show when I was a baby and um It's about Bernie Mac and how he takes in his sister's kids and how they adjust to L.A. life and all that. The act. Okay, so the act is a true story. And it's about how 
Gypsy. If you guys have not heard of that story, I don't know where you've been at, but in 2018, she, this person who was supposed to be like sick her whole entire life killed her mother, and we found out. Like, they basically told her story on why she killed her mother and finds out that the mom was making her sick. Like, she wasn't sick at all. It was crazy. Jersey Shore, if you're into the reality shows and trash reality shows. I know, that's horrible. That's one of my guilty pleasures. I love reality shows. I love, like, shows like Quarters, uh, 16 and Pregnant, Jersey Shore. Those are my favorite shows. I don't know why. My favorite guilty pleasure shows. I wouldn't say my favorite show. If you're into sci-fi, you should watch The 100. It's about 100 kids going down to the earth and they're prisoners and how they go down to the earth and they have to experience the earth for the first time because they've been in space for like a thousand, like a hundred years or a thousand years. I forgot. I'm on season six right now. so I am not okay with this. If you like Carrie, you're going to like this. I think it's supposed to be in the 80s. I am not sure. But I just know I've never seen anybody on their phone in the show so I think it's supposed to take place in a longer in an older time and it's about this girl and she finds she finds out she has superpowers and she uses them but it's not like she becomes a superhero it's like you just gotta watch the show special victims unit law and order special victims unit if you're into crime and yeah cases you should watch that my favorite seasons are the one with Stabler in them. I can tell you almost every episode, thanks to my mom, because we sit and binge watch that whole entire show. Uh, Hollywood, if you're into like, it's historical fiction. Uh, it's one of Ryan Murphy shows. Like I promise you, I've seen almost every one of Ryan Murphy stuff. But, um, and what it was like to be in Hollywood back then, and it's a good show. Um, The Get Down is about the start of hip-hop in New York, and it's a good show. You should watch that also. That's on Netflix. I'm sorry. I have not been telling y'all what these shows are on. I'm sorry. Kakatori is Kakaro- I forgot. People say it in very weird ways, but that was the very first anime I watched. And it's about this girl named Yumiko, and she can play cards really, really well. She, like, has, I wouldn't say she has superpower, but she knows what everybody's going to do before they do it. And she can tell, like, when they're cheating, and she goes to the school where playing cards is, like, your grades. Like, you don't have regular grades, you play cards. And if you lose in that game, you become a kitten or a mouse, I believe, and you basically become their slave until you win another game or until you pay the money back so yeah you should watch grand army first hold on i gotta run it back run it back you should watch euphoria then you should watch grand army because to me grand army is like an antidepressant version of euphoria it's still a good show i'm i'm, I'm not taking anything away from netflix and i'm not taking any way anything away from HBO but that's what it seems to me what it's like it's like featured on like different teenage kids and they're all like different and Euphoria is about Zendaya Rue and how she is an on and off again addict and how she's trying to live her life Grand Army is about a bomb that went off and New York and how the kids are adjusting to what happened when the bomb went off. Okay. Now, Big Mouth is not uh that's a guilty pleasure also. I love Big Mouth though. And um it's very funny and I I don't know how to explain it. It's about like puberty but in the most ratchetest way of explaining it okay 13 reasons why if you have not watched 13 reasons why i don't know what you're doing but it's about a girl who kills herself and she leaves a box of tapes t 
telling you 13 reasons why she did. A typical is about an autistic kid and he goes to regular high school for like the first time and it's really funny. That's it's a funny show. I already have like black lightning on here. Okay, we're just gonna skip that. <laughs> Moesha. I'm currently watching Moesha right now. Actually no, I finished Moesha, my bad. Uh, it's about Brandy, Moesha, who is living her high school life in California and having to deal with her strict parents' rules and how her mother died and all. It's, I don't really know how to explain Moesha. Moesha is Moesha. Mm. Okay, Queer Eye. If you're not into LGBTQ community and if you don't support it, I don't know why you're here. Um, but if you're not into stuff like that... I mean, you don't have to be in stuff to stuff in. You don't have to watch LGBTQ community stuff to support them, but you cannot be homophobic and transphobic and any other phobia around me and expect um, me to be cool with you. That's not gonna happen. But anyway. Queer Eye is about four gay guys and they go to people's houses and they give them a complete makeover and it's very interesting and I love that show and I cannot wait till season five or season four I think. Alright, On My Block. On My Block is about California currently and how these four kids start high school and how they're living with high school and how everything is going to work out well or as they hope and trying to get their friend Caesar to stay out of a gang. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know any other suggestions as a, for movie ideas and stuff like that. Bye.